the city council tomorrow votes on overriding the mayor's veto. If approved, New York cops would be required to document every single investigative stop of a civilian. Every stop. Yeah, but this already controversial issue got even more complicated by the traffic stop on Friday night of newly elected Councilman Yusuf Salam, one of the exonerated members of the Central Park Five who was just elected. The mayor today defending the cop. I was news reporter NJ Burkett live at City Hall where he just spoke with the mayor. Newt? Yeah, that's right, Bill. The mayor is defending the officer who stopped Youssef Salam. It would appear that the officer had probable cause. But that said, tensions have been building over this issue for the better part of a week. Now, the mayor tells me that no matter what happens here tomorrow, he is still determined to get what he wants. The New York City Council is poised to override Mayor Adams for only the second time in his administration. Tonight, the mayor himself tells Eyewitness News he has no regrets. I did my job. I felt that the bill wasn't where it should have been. We vetoed that. Adams still believes there's room for compromise, despite strong opposition led by public advocate Jumani Williams. What the administration did on this bill is what made this thing more tense, more difficult, and unfortunately, it was wholly unnecessary. Williams and others believe that the NYPD is still racially profiling New Yorkers. The How Many Stops Act would require officers to complete a short form each time they have even a casual encounter with a civilian. It's intended to provide the clearest picture yet of who's being stopped and why. Crystal Hudson is the bill's co-sponsor. They're already reporting on stops. We're just simply asking them to expand that to every single stop that they make. Officers already report higher level investigative stops. NYPD officers make 8.5 million lower level or level one stops every year. Critics say documenting them will slow down manhunts or emergency responses. Oh Councilmember Robert Holden opposes the bill. Let's say there was a major accident. Somebody was hurt badly or killed. Let's say they interviewed 11 people. Nine of them didn't see the accident or didn't know what happened. They still have to make a report. How stupid is that? Mayor Adams tells Eyewitness News that even if the council overrides the veto, he's not giving up. If we get it wrong, uh, because of terminologies and not really understanding what we're asking for, we could really tie up our police from doing their job correctly. There's still a moment before implementation, and we can make this bill what the council want, what I want, and what all New Yorkers want, transparency and public safety. Now, does the council majority have the votes? It would certainly appear that way tonight. The mayor insists the compromise is possible if both sides can agree on how to define these particular stops. And no, as I said before, he's not giving up.